cuidado, cuidado. Sí, por ahí tienes. lo del ley lo del ley vamos hacia la playa creemos creemos que vamos a la playa pero dice a ver que hay algo así que está parado y que no es difícil parece difícil ¿eh? Esta es la playa.
Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, welcome aboard the world famous Jungle Queen. We've been in business here for 68 years. Real quickly, let me get you acquainted with our vessel upstairs driving this afternoon. This is Captain Jim. He's on the third deck. My name, I'm Captain Jay. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the waterway, some of the newest construction, and of course, some of the most famous homes. Mates this afternoon, we have Chris, Mike, and Lonnie. Restrooms. Restrooms are located on the first deck all the way to the back of the vessel. There's also a water fountain there. Life jackets. Life jackets are located directly above you. But don't worry about those life jackets. Two of them work and Jim and I already have them. Don't worry about the life jackets. Also, no smoking aboard the Jungle Queen, but once we do get to our Jungle Island, you're more than welcome to smoke if you need to. Also, folks, do me a favor while we are up uh, and running. Everyone must remain seated. If by chance you're in a seat that you don't want to be in now, now's the time to move. But once you do find that seat, if you would, please remain seated, not just for safety reasons, but also so the folks around you can see. Over here on our right-hand side, this marina, where most of you parked at, which is the Bahia Mar. Now, the Bahia Mar is home to the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. We're now heading north on the Intercoastal Waterway. Directly in front of us is the Las Olas Bridge. The Las Olas Bridge was the first bridge ever connecting all the way up to Cape May, New Jersey. Of course, that's without touching the ocean once. Oh, by the way, my next thing. First off, let's point out this house over here on the left-hand side. It's going to be directly in front of us in just a minute. They call this very large house the House of Butterflies. The reason they call it that because a gentleman by the name of Million Dollars, they built it as a spec house. In case you don't know what a spec house is, well, they're still specting on selling it someday. No one's actually ever lived inside that home. It's been owned by three I have one in the photo album postcard booklet that I'll tell you about later. There's actually quite a few houses in here. So if by chance you do miss a picture, one of my mates will be walking around a little bit. Lauderdale now for about five months. We've seen them a total of one time. Where the first Spring Break movie was filmed. The name of that movie was Where the Boys Are. It starred Connie Francis and George Hamilton. Presley Anheuser owned that house back then. Anheuser Busch Budweiser. Eddie Murphy also filmed a movie inside the mud wall. He played Tarzan, he filmed two of the movies right here in Fort Lauderdale and built their dream house, like right here on the left-hand side. There used to be a beautiful house over there owned by Bob Levine. Bob Levine owned Cabletron, a large company up in New England. Well, he sold his house. The guy who bought it did not like the new house. Over here, if you look, to the left-hand side, follow those markers. That's the Intercoastal Waterway. We could take the Intercoastal Waterway south all the way down to the Indians. They actually call it Kimrishi. Kimrishi means in water. The Indians say back in the late 1600s that they were Kimrishi in water. Now, when they settled Fort Lauderdale back in the late 1800s, they switched the name from Kimrishi to different places. If you look on either side of us, you'll see a few day markers, green being on the left, red being on the right. Those are basically street signs. They help you tell you where the canal is. On the point that sits directly in the center of the gentleman's swimming pool. The gentleman who had this house built, his name was Michael Egan. Michael Egan was the original owner of Alamo Rent-A-Car. Well, he sold Alamo Rent-A-Car to Wayne Heisinger for $600 million. Well, folks, five months ago, he sold his home. Normally a big, fat, yellow dog running around the backyard named Jack. All that belongs to the mayor of $1,000 to $500,000 for a two-bedroom. On the left-hand side, this is the New River. New River is more condos, but not just condos. They're also apartments. That way, if you cannot afford to buy something along the waterway here, well, maybe you can afford to rent. The rent starts for us. That is directly in front of us, the Third Avenue Bridge. Third Avenue Bridge is the first of seven bridges that will be going through today. Third Avenue Bridge just received a brand new paint 
is under the assumption if they build it people will come. they start off at 525,000 what a lot of people do is they'll buy at pre-construction prices when the building starts to fill up they will turn over
show you this next piece of land right here on the left of us. It starts right here on this corner point and goes all the way down to the very end. That's a one very point, point on the seawall. Told you we'd find one for you on the left hand side. The bridge is the day people. As you can tell, it's not Pepto-Bismol pink, which means they will be replacing it soon. Over here on the left-hand side, this house behind all the trees. I'm sorry, right-hand side. I must have been facing the wrong way. Anyway, on the right-hand side, this house was once owned by George Morales. Now, George Morales used to race speedboats. He'd race speedboats from New York to Miami. He was very, very good at it. He was breaking all sorts of records. Then they found out he was breaking all sorts of laws. He no longer owns the house, but he does have himself a room for the view. Take a look at this next boat on the right-hand side, the one backed in, the dark blue hold one. That's a handmade Italian vessel. That's a 60-foot Riva. There's one of them in the United States, and you're looking at it. That boat used goes for $2.3 million. It sleeps nine, and it does 60 miles per hour and just at 2,000 RPM. Anybody on the boat from New Jersey? Right here on the right. We're going to see out here along the sea walls. Like right here on the left, there's a five foot alligator on the ladies' lawn. See the alligator? See the alligator? It's a concrete alligator, but do you see it? The house behind it is an Architecture Digest magazine. Not from being such a big, beautiful house, but it's uniquely built. It's completely built from cinder blocks. Take a look over here on the left-hand side. You actually see a boat being lifted out of the water to a travel lift. They put slings around the bottom, lift the boat up, drive it around the yard, and then block it off. That's what costs a thousand dollars per ten feet to get your boat lifted. Seven million dollar liveaboard jet ski. That's jet operated. The reason that boats dock back here is because it's cheaper than Bahiamar. Here it's 90 cents per foot per day. At Bahia Mar, it's $3.50 to $5 per foot per day. Since we've talked about dockage, hey, let's talk about fuel. Imagine pulling one of these boats into the filling station and saying, fill her up, please. Well, the guy will put the nozzle in the tank, he'll walk away. He'll come back two days later. Say something like $20,000, please. So if you know if you know what the definition of a boat is, it's a hole in the water that you continuously throw money into. Boat is really an abbreviation. It's abbreviated for break out another thousand. Two happiest days in a boat owner's life are the day they buy it and the day they sell it. Directly above us, the bridge you see here is I-95. You know what the I stands for in I-95? Wrong. Incomplete. And the 95 stands for tropical birds. You will see peacocks. You will see iguanas. You will see monkey. Of course, in the center of the island, there's a very large pit with three full-grown Florida alligators. A gentleman by the name of Mike is going to jump inside that pit. The alligators. They're about 43, 44 weeks old. You can hold them in your hands. You can touch the gator. Also on the island, there are shops with handmade jewelry. There's uh, Indian artifacts, clothing, jungle queen merchandise, postcards, that kind of stuff. There's also a snack bar on the island. Hot dogs, ice cream, pretzels, nachos. Folks, if you'd like to bring anything back with you on the boat, you're more than welcome. Please do so. All I ask is that you use the garbage cans when you're finished.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that everybody's off the boat, let me give you an idea of when the alligator show is. The alligator show is going to be in five minutes. So you have time to walk around, do a little shopping, get yourself a snack. Five minutes until the alligator show. building with a circular section on the roof. That's the Hyatt Pier 66. That's owned by Wayne Heisinger. Back in 1966, Philip Petroleum seems the more you drink, the faster it spins. You know, there's a glass elevator at Pier 66 that will take the bottom floor to the top floor in 66 seconds. On the north side, south side, east side, and west side, there are 66 rooms. That marina six, which is the restaurant and beer, 66. You can get a steak for two for $66. That spa, 66. You can get a massage and a manicure for $66. If you'd like a reservation at Pier 66, Marina 66, Grill 66, or Spa 66, you dial 72. It took me exactly 66 seconds to tell you the story. Over here on the left side, this is the Marriott, known as the Marriott Marina, uh, Dubai. It's a uh, uh, Lauderdale Marina, last chance for fuel before you head offshore. The other half is a restaurant, it's called 15th Street Fisheries. Now, 15th Street Fisheries is an excellent seafood restaurant. Now, if you eat on the side of 15th Street Fisheries, they will offer you a piece of key lime pie or a Caribbean coffee for dessert. Now that's on the downstairs. The upstairs is fine dining. If you bring your Jungle Queen ticket inside the fine dining section, they will offer you both Caribbean coffee and the key lime pie. One ticket for the whole table. 
Now she's in the DuPont family, DuPont Paints. Coming up on the front right hand corner, there's a white house with a white roof with a very large white boat docked beside it. Fifteen years ago that house belonged. He's also the producer of Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. Next house coming up on the right hand side, it's a beige house with a white roof. Well, the gentleman that owns that house owns Miles Laboratories. Miles Laboratories make Elka Seltzer. Now, for every spring break, speaking of spring break, Fort Lauderdale's motto back in the day was come down on vacation, leave on probation. It doesn't look like much, but it's actually famous for being a convertible home. That's right, convertible. That gentleman can sit in his bedroom, press a button, and his roof opens like a sunroof in a car. The gentleman's name is Bob Gill. That was one of their vacation homes. That's where their daughter, Chastity, was born. Over here on the left-hand side, the piece of land with all the boats docked up around it, that there is the Fort Lauderdale Yacht Club. Six years ago is the one that stands all by itself to the far left. That is the Auto Nation building. Goodbye. Wait, hi, second. Coming up on our front left hand, take a look at these two white houses. Well, actually, if you look to the one to the left, it's not even a home 73. He's been making $75 any time a GM car is sold in the world. 75 bucks a car since 1973. You do the math. House was originally, originally built for Chester Gould. He was the creator of the Dick Tracy comic books. And you've also lived here for a lot of for many years until he passed away about a year ago. Yellow house coming up on the right hand side. Take a little close, close to look at the trees surrounding it. Those go for eight to ten thousand dollars a piece. Of course, that's installed. And the two chandeliers on the inside of the house are made from crystal. Thirty-five thousand dollars a piece. Statue on the point, another forty thousand. Same wall, dock, walk space, and all the stairs. They're all made from Italian marble. Probably wondering what this guy does for a living. He's a plastic surgeon. Once again on the right hand side, there's a dark blue hulled vessel right there. It's called the Lady Linda. The Lady Linda on the TV show Dynasty. Of course, the house behind it does not belong to her, but it belongs to two of her friends, the husband and his wife. The husband said that when him and his wife have a fight, he can hide for a whole month. I've had to see any of her dirty looks. Now they own and operate sunglass money. Just proves that those are the kinds of sunglasses. For the lady. La Uden Leide, el Rolly en la playa de la Uden Leide en la Florida, en Miami, Estados Unidos. Fort Lo del Ley. Esa es la playa Fort Lo del Ley. Costanera.
pintoresco igual. Yeah. 